Network. All right, we're great. Hot damn. So, Mr. Grant of yes. the Nestor. All right. I'm going to take off my headset a little bit. Uh, so, uh, met at Burning Man, um, and I learned a little bit about Jupiter, and then what, like a year later, uh, sat down at Rose for Mythos? Um, so, let's go through the basics first. Is definitely not an indie software developer and a software engineer. Uh, dude, I mean, indie software developer is, it sounds about right. <laughs> what do you, what, what does indie mean? Uh, well, because I'm an independent contractor, I guess that would be indie. Um, uh, yeah, I work on Project Jupiter, but um, that's, that's, that's the main project to work on, but you know, obviously I work on Mythos, um, or I've worked on Mythos. Well, that's, that's how you work and what you're working on. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the latter one later. So right now we're talking about like who you are. Okay. So who you are is a software developer. Software developer. Uh, I think we're gonna move this up. So what would another descriptor be that's not a personal one? Because I think burner and motorcyclist will come later. Mm -hmm. um, also, Surfer. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Did you get a Burning Man ticket, by the way? Yeah. Oh, missed. Are you planning on going? Um, depends. That's, an, that's, that's worse than buying a Brian.bot domain in terms of <laughs> expenses. So I'm supporting Swing City in a logistical sense, and hopefully things will manifest. Or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say hopefully. Uh, I, yeah, am, yeah. I am manifesting the opportune thing. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Exactly. Yeah. How do I not have hammies in here yet? Um, I'm sorry. Well, you were busy doing stuff. All right. Hammies will come back to. Well, I mean, hammies, so you're a software developer and... And a uh, shorts maker. Uh, too granular. Um, a creator? That's actually a hard one. Um, hammies. Is it hammies or hammies shorts? I mean, it's, it's hammiesshorts.com, it's hammies shorts on Instagram, but... Um, Commonly referred to as hammies. Commonly referred to as I like it. Is this Sarah? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Introducing. Wait, wasn't that a printing error? Uh, which one? The orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Oh. I love this. Mm-hmm. The Shopify? Yeah. Well done. Uh, all right. I don't want to break continuity. All right, so let's steal what you already have written. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this. Did you write this yourself? Yeah. Fantastic. Wait, these are your mom's shorts, or they aren't? They are. Mm. Mm -hmm. and usually people say they aren't. <laughs> like, this is not your dad's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this case, it is. Is there anything else besides this? Is there an about page? Uh, no. No. Oh, yeah, that admin thing, I should, take, I should get rid of that button. Who is this person again? Escro Jen. So she's the uh, founder of Moxie Roller Skates. That's amazing. And that is just amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right. And because dynamic fields are on the roadmap for the future, uh -huh. 
uh, software developer. Creator of Handy Shorts, would that work? Yeah, I mean, you're an so entrepreneur. You I will. co lead of Project Jupiter, so you could just say creator of Handy Shorts. Yeah. Um, I mean, all of these things are true. I'm just trying to fit you into the mold of all of the other memos, which is, mm -hmm. that's always a balance between the norm and then, like, the unique situation, which I'm still working on. Like, I, I don't know. It's still working on how to explain that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go that, that. Is your LinkedIn up? Yeah, your LinkedIn is pretty good. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Specializing in open source. Okay, that I like. These are your dad shorts, and then here you say atypical, which is basically just a different. <laughs> I have a sticky note over there that's a oh, I don't have one that like you're you're never supposed to say like I'm different because it's just like the the worst way to explain something. Uh -huh. um, but then I also have a sticky over there which is uh, new does not mean better, um, yeah. which prevents me from saying that like oh it's new and it's like no one gives a shit if it's new like that doesn't mean <laughs> it's better. But it's so like you find yourself falling in those traps, um, being like, "Oh, it's new." And it's like doesn't give doesn't matter. New is not better. Uh, what is Scoop? So Scoop was uh, was the app startup that I left my 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 real job for. Um, so I was working at Factual for like three years, and um, yeah, the idea was it was basically like a Twitter for events. So you follow mm. people, then use um, brands, musicians, whatever, and you find out about events that way, instead of what was existing at the time, which was like, um, okay. eventful. All right, so, so definitely that fits in. Mm -hmm. um, actually. All right, serial entrepreneur, software, de uh, yeah, serial entrepreneur and software developer. No, because the entrepreneurial branch is outside of open source. Um, entrepreneur and software. I guess the specializing open source can go below somewhere. Yeah. Well, if I say co co lead of Jupiter, then that kind of is also said. Mm -hmm. um, scoop. Wait, what's oh what's whammy? Oh, you told me about this. The, the fart out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to. Like serial, I always, I, I serial is such like a cliche term, but I like always, I'm like, where, what defines using it, that? It would be so funny if you actually like owned a serial company, so then you could just say serial entrepreneur. Well, what what defines a company? You just have to make serial. <laughs> You could just make cereal pretty easily. I wonder if, hold on. Sell it to people. Yeah, yeah that for sure. Too. No, but it's got to be C-E. Cereal, cereal. <laughs> what? Cereal, cereal is taken? God damn it. Who the fuck owns that? Whoa. See, but this is what I love, right? Like, it's an image. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's for, a shop. For, for the record. Go to the shop at the top. What are they selling? Can't be real. That's an artist. Pictures, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, that's funny shit. Uh, that was a picture of toilet paper. I'm not going to go back and look at that. All right, so before Hammy is... I can't believe the Scoop website's still alive. It's a long time ago. Uh, is it yours? Yeah, yeah, I made it. What's it hosted on? Um, I think it's hosted on Site 5. 
But what the fuck is Site 5? Kind of like, uh, I don't know, like, what would you call it? Bluehost, maybe? Something okay. Like yeah, just a, just a website. Like, yeah. Can't post apps, just websites. check LinkedIn because sometimes people like you actually take the time to summarize things in ways that are better than I could. Other times, I was reading this guy's earlier today, it was like, it was like just so general and broad that it didn't actually explain anything. Sure. So I couldn't use it. Some people are not explainers. No, no, they're not. Uh, event discovery content that connects people to events that matter to them based on good places things which are connected to. Most of what I do is take out the subjective. <laughs> I was just going to say, how cool would that be if you could just highlight uh, a paragraph and just don't, say, don't, change the text to make it don't get me all riled up on, on potential features. No, um, no, like I've, I've done that myself. Like I've searched for like tense converter, you know, mm, and mm. they're out there. I mean, people have made them, um, but how cool would it be if you could just, like, for example, when you select stuff on a Mac, and you right click. Mm. There is a thing, well, not here, but sometimes there's a thing that says transforms, okay. and then it'll like allow you to make things uppercase or lowercase. Oh, okay. But if you could just change the tense, or yeah. if you could just change the like, you were saying you take out the subjective. The the one that I found, and I can't show you because I'd have to show you an email on the screen, but um, is is actually I'll show you on my private one. So uh, as much as I love this human. Um, so this is an introductory email that he sent. <laughs> so if I do command F for my and I, <laughs> um, and you just go through and it's like, you were both some of the first people that got access to my, um, you know, and I, and I'm like, 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 he's making an introduction and providing value to both parties, mm -hmm. but speaking almost explicitly from his personal view. And so it's like, you talk about like making space for other people. There is no space for any other human being in this email. And so spiritual bro is gonna be like, hey, like this is like 73% about you. Like, you know, unless someone's working for you or like you're hiring someone or like, make it about That's that. That's funny though, but how would you rephrase it? Uh, I mean, I would, I'll, well, first of all, like, um, yeah, I it, in, in longer case study. I could I could talk about this one email for like forty five minutes, and I also um, don't want to. Yeah. Anyway, uh, spiritual bro uh -huh. will will have that at some point in the future. Yeah. Um, all right, mobile application, do do do, an event discovery platform that connected people to events based on the people. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Based on the people who are things which are connected. Let's do this. There we go. And then the other one was Whammy. There's a couple. <laughs> yeah. Proxy, Whammy. Wait, what's a proxy? Proxy was another one that we um, 
that we actually, like, Scoop never fully got built, so it never got released, but, um, oh no, Play, Play's another one, so Play, Scoop was May is twenty. How do people do this? Is it like this? I'll make that pretty later. Um, whammy was. I remember you showing me whammy for the first time. Yeah, it's, it's broken right now. I have to look this up. I mean, so is. Yeah, it's broken. Or is it already taken? No, it's broken. Um, what's great is that it broke in a way that makes it look like that email's not available, so oh. it makes it look like it's super popular. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten around to having someone fix it. Yeah. Yeah, so Play was was basically like a um, video messaging. So it was the idea was just instead of um, text messaging with people, you just like take these these quick um, selfie videos, like talking to the person, and then they watch it and then they respond. Um, I think you've talked about Glide before, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like pre Glide, pre Glide, pre Marco Polo. A video messaging. That's all you have to say. Yeah, but that was super early. Mm -hmm. How, um, damn, what was the infrastructure like with that? It was so simple, man. Like, just me and my buddy, it was 2013. Um, me and my buddy. Uh, I wasn't coding at the time, I was like just designing, but um, I, I mean he put together the first prototype within a couple days, like five days or something Damn. like that. And no, the infrastructure was destroying everything on S3, um, yeah, we had no like streaming optimization or anything like that, and it works. It's interesting that you've gone very far away from app development. Kind of, kind of. I mean Mythos is, is an app, but... It's not uh, on mobile. It's not going on mobile, yeah. yeah. Just because it's like, it's a, um, it's a walled garden. Yeah. Yeah, you build it for iOS and then you have to build a whole other one for Android or a whole other one for the web. Oh, man, I, I felt bad about not following Hammies on Instagram. Yeah, it's fucked up. And, and, and you still haven't accepted my LinkedIn invitation, sir. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I definitely don't use LinkedIn. Um... Wait, so what was Whammy was sound messaging app? Uh, is Whammy still? Yeah, Whammy's still up there. Uh, Whammy dot app. Or Whammy dot. What's it called? Press your line. Whammy dot me. Did you hear the fart noise? Uh. <laughs> no. If you, if you click on that right there, each one of those should play a sound. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And scroll down. Yep, keep scrolling. <laughs> That's amazing. See, like stuff like this, like I mean, the the mock up is outdated. Yeah. The iOS the the OS is outdated, but like it's a thing you did in 2014. Mm -hmm. And so, like, just having it existing. Yeah, yeah. I, I plan to put all these things up on, like, subdomains of one domain, which would be, like, Grandmaster or something. Or, like, mythos <sighs> dot one forward slash Grandmaster. Um, but still, like, I don't, I don't want to have to pay for domains anymore because if there's. <laughs> I know what you. Product, yeah. You know, uh, so I'm just going to, like, I, a subdomain of something else. I have started the process of migrating all of my domains from GoDaddy to. Uh, I think I told you this, um, to Cloudflare, um, and it's a pain of process, but I say... Why, why Cloudflare? Uh, 
first of all, I like the company um, and what they stand for and what they do and like their value system and way more than GoDaddy, which I definitely have like looked for a domain on my phone and then an hour later go to the computer and it's taken. Mm-hmm. And, and then it says it's taken by GoDaddy and it's like marked as a premium domain. And I'm like, fuck you. So lame. Um, so <coughs> GoDaddy lost my trust a long time ago. Um, yeah. But so that's thing number one. Uh, thing number two is uh, it's less than half the price. I think it's like 60% cheaper. So like, register? Yeah, because it's you only pay the ICANN fees. So it's like nice. $7.83 per domain per year with uh, privacy included. Um, and yeah, their their back end system for managing the domains is way the fuck better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like underwater.tours forward slash LA. So I bought underwater.tours and then I can just create a redirect for every forward domain that I want. Yeah. Um, but with GoDaddy, you can only do like one forward. Yeah, GoDaddy's terrible. I, I completely yeah. agree. And, and if, uh, People have been telling me to get off of it for years. Yeah, finally that's just, good to know about Cloudflare because um, I'm actually really interested in their um, Cloudflare workers product. That they Interesting. Recently. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, you probably don't know about AWS Lambda, but it's like, that's kind of a paradigm really? shift for okay. servers. In yeah. And then workers is, is taking it a step further where it's like um, much, much cheaper, it's much, much faster. Um, yeah, so like when there is an opportunity to build something that involves servers, you know, definitely try that. Interesting. Um, yeah, I know the, uh, I think Colin, what is it, it was Colin, tried to explain serverless architecture to me at yeah. one point. And I was just like, but it sounds like there's a server. <laughs> and he's there like, is a server, but you don't manage it. It was great. Uh, it was, I, yeah, I mean, you've, you've tried to, some stuff I get and some stuff, it's just like, I'm really, I'm really trying here and I can't. Well, yeah, because just the, the whole concept of a server is like not an intuitive concept. Like, why do we have to have them? And um, that's a good question. Like, why do we need to have them? We don't. <laughs> uh, okay. Serial uh, entrepreneur and software developer. It's funny because you're actually difficult to make, um, which yeah. is great because the best people are. Uh, <laughs> uh, this has been this has been on morning wood. Uh, okay. One word. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, I, I remember laughing at that every time someone said it the yeah, first time I met you. Such a good name. Um, all right, software developers specializing in open source. Co- okay, co- I, was, I remember trying to do this by myself. Co-lead of the Project Jupiter team? Uh, it's it's okay. specifically the Jupiter Notebook and Jupiter Lab team. The Jupiter... Okay, so Project it's called Project Jupiter. Yeah. And you are the co-lead of the Jupiter Notebook, Jupiter Lab team. Yeah, exactly. Um, so then I would say... Nestor is a core developer. Mm hmm. With Project Jupiter. And a oh, co lead of the. N- Nestor is. Um, is a Ju- uh, Project Jupiter core developer and co lead of yeah much developer better developer core developer and a co lead or co lead um a co lead or I think a co lead I don't know the name of the Jupiter notebook yeah there you go just copy it I can't it's a link. No, it's not there either. It is, it's one of those uh, awkward things to type. Pi. Oh, no. Jupi? Jupi. 
Uh, team, uh, singular. Uh, these are two different teams, Jupiter Notebook and... No, it's the same team. Okay. Um, yeah. So, and then this is Jupiter instead of Jupiter. J-U-P-Y. T... Wait, what am I doing wrong? G-U-P-Y. With the P in front of the Y. Oh. Um, yeah, I maybe just put that in its own paragraph, too. Well, yeah, that's the challenge, because you're not, I mean, you are, but I want to say, like, primary? Yeah, day job. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't say day job if I'm speaking objectively. So that's the challenge with like the Wikipedia format because I, I always try and speak objectively at the top and then subjectively mm -hmm. to like switch. Um, so uh, there we go. Make it present tense. It's also founder of Hemi Shorts. There we go. That's much better. And then previously, to do, do, founder of everything, yeah. Fifty semicolons in a row. Now, how about you just do a um, you can leave the stuff in the projects and then just do um, just names. You don't have to like do the descriptions there. Yeah. So whammy proxy. <coughs> let's do this. Yeah, so if I go out and like copy something from here mm -hmm. and then copy it here. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Um, it'll usually do like this and then send me there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was one of those bugs that I hadn't told you about because I was working around it uh there's so probably much. just for links to other pages right no it's uh, any any link because i was like copying references mm -hmm. um that i've just yeah <laughs> working with it um da -da 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 -da. scoop to do 2012. um and then we have what? four play messages we got proxy so that was 2014. Um, I think it's that later. I love how you like made everything before it was popular. Yeah, the proxy Proc thing hasn't fully happened though. Me, like, I'm kind well, of pissed off about that because basically, like, we built a, a legit app and uh, we partnered. Same guy that I built um, uh, Play and Whammy with. Um, like, we built a great app, and then we partnered with these dudes. Uh, three three dudes that were um, one of them was a guy I knew my whole life like pretty good friend um, very you know socially connected guy so and he was like gonna be the marketing mm -hmm. kind of guy so I, like, I trusted him I was like oh cool let's do this and then he was living with his um, business partners um, <laughs> and nothing can go wrong with that yeah and all three yeah, all three of these kids, yeah you know all about that all three of these kids you know like came from money and so mm -hmm. they they had like a venture company like whatever that means and um dude they're just you know they're just bullshitting everybody and they didn't do any work and so we eventually had to just 
end it. Like, yeah. you know, we were getting traction and everything was going well, but there's, they just couldn't continue doing it because we were doing all the work. These guys weren't doing shit. They owned like 50% of it um, as, as like. Those are, company. yeah, and, and yeah. I mean, ownership, ownership when people like come into something and just say like, you know, I had a developer that was talking to me about Spiritual Bro and he's like, hey, I know this guy, he's done Chrome extensions before, he can develop it, um, it'll be like 30 grand for a throwaway MVP, and, and he's like, you know, like, I'd be interested in, in being partners on this, like, you know, like, I, you know, up, you know, 50-50, like, I'll, I'll put it. So he basically was offering to pay, like, 15 grand to fund half of MVP. I'm like, A, I haven't agreed to a throwaway MVP. That seems that would be like me writing thirty million words in Mythos and being like, "Cool, now let's throw it away and build a new product." Yeah. Like, a, I don't, I don't agree with that mentality. Mm-hmm. B, like, you want to be fifty fifty partners, and like every email that I send you mentioning Spiritual Bro links to the memo for Spiritual Bro, which says my partner's name is, um, and then like who he is. So like. Meaning that the entire time we've been having this conversation, you never once read the summary of the project. Um, and and three, it's like you don't you don't propose to someone that you should be proposed to. Okay, so he's just saying like, hey, you can like pay me less money, but then you give me fifty. Well, so that was the thing. He's not building it. He was offering to like project manage some dude that he knows. And I oh, yeah. and I was like, so then what value do you bring um was he actually volunteering to pay his bro fifteen thousand dollars or just like yeah 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 and i was i it, but it was just one of those like so disconnected from reality conversations that i'm like i and it was he loves it like he loves the concept he's a great guy but it was just like he's he doesn't understand outside the code i don't think mm-hmm. um super nice guy but i was just like okay cool like like why don't we chat in person next time and we'll talk about this and i was like here's yeah. here's my partner i'll talk to him about this um you kind of have to get to know someone that you're gonna yeah <laughs> well and back to this is like you and i that's like um someone um, actually john when i first told him about mythos he's like wait how how and i was like like we we met oh, each other not uh, for the purposes of building mythos we met because we met yeah you gotta add mythos in here uh oh yeah shit um damn maybe a third paragraph i mean i guess i guess it might might deserve being in the first paragraph um well i mean you know you were like all i want to take i want to potentially take a thing from netflix and i don't know if i can work for absolutely no money for mythos for a period of time Dude, my, my bad bro <laughs> That was my bad. How, how dare you? <laughs> um, we're getting there. I had one of my advisors was like, um, he's like, what's your MRR? And I'm like, we're not measuring by that anymore. What does um, that mean? Uh, monthly recurring revenue. Oh, yeah. Um, because remember, the, the original plan was like, oh, we'll, we'll charge people like $1,000 a month to do this like done for you service, um, which could work and like we got people paying it but at the same time uh the content became like super dry and like it wasn't the spirit of what it was intended to be and then as soon as you start making money you have to continue making more money progressively yeah and like i was still i had no cash flow so it was like i think i took on like at max i was thinking it was two people it was two people a thousand dollars a month which Mm -hmm. didn't fully pay my bills and then it was taking me like 40 hours to service those two people and then i was like not able to pay my rent and i was like oh shit yeah um but hey we're here now and now we know what we're doing yeah you're learning always learning um do 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 right i'm gonna add i kind of want to add mythos no, because Mythos is more relevant up here in terms of like your skill set, <laughs> but I want to I want to say that you built it in my voice, which my format is. Uh, let's see. You say like, oh yeah, and Grant built Mythos. Well, the question is if I say it here or up here. <laughs> yeah, and if you can do it in your own voice, and you can just say like, oh yeah. <laughs> I almost um, forgot to mention. Serial entrepreneur, software. De- What's the difference between a software developer and a software engineer? Engineering sounds more technical. Okay. And I don't. I don't want to be too technical. Uh, specializing in open source. 
so software. And then it's like redundant. Um, well, what I want to say is specializing in open, specializing in utilizing and building. Because yeah, because project, I mean, like that's how I brag about you is that like not only do you use open source, but you literally built language. Um, uh, yeah, you just just say specializing in open source, because then it gets like too verbose and and verbose. Me, what? And anyone that's like <laughs> that's familiar with open source is going to be like, this is this is too much, too many words. All right, all right, fair. Um, Specializing in open source, software developer specializing in open source. Um, actually, what if I say serial entrepreneur, open source software developer? There you go. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's much better. And. Um, uh, let's say and I love that shortcut. <laughs> oh, is that using it's a that? keyboard snippet that I added. What do you use for that? Uh, keyboard Maestro. Maestro, yeah. Uh, Nestor is a project is a core developer and co lead of the project Jupiter. Oh. Nestor is a, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're spending all our time on format. Dude, it, it, it makes a difference. Um, Co-lead of the. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Like Project Jupiter and Jupiter Notebook are like different things. Oh, really? I mean, you can do that. That's fine. That works. Yeah. It's kind of better before, though. <laughs> you could say core developer of Project Jupiter. Like, if you want to have, if you want it to be like role thing, role thing. Well, yeah, because it's, it's, I'm trying to make it understandable to people who don't know what Project Jupiter is. So, so, yeah. Uh, Core developer at Project Jupiter. Core developer at Project Jupiter and co-lead of the Jupiter Notebook and Jupiter Lab teams. Yeah. Uh, okay, co-lead of Jupiter teams. Um, is the God, what the fuck do I want to call you for Mythos? The what's the what's the fanciest thing that I can call you? Um, I mean developer. Chief architect. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. The mythos one? No. A mythos one. A nonlinear communication platform. <laughs> not, I'm sorry, not A. This. <laughs> uh, da, 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 In his spare time, he was, because you like while you're working at Jupiter, you built those. Totally. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think I like this.
Do you want to say was or is? Are you going to stick around if Netflix offers you like a quarter million dollars? Um, probably not, but that Netflix could be sailed, I mean, at least temporarily. You and your temporary, temporary ends for means, or means for ends. Uh-huh. I'm very not middle. Um, you, uh, let me do this. Uh, with this one. Uh, open source. Alright, serial entrepreneur, open source software developer, and a core developer at Project Jupiter. Um, Project Jupiter, where he is a co lead of the Jupiter Novo and Jupiter Lab team. There we go. Uh, Nestor also founded. Let's see what this looks like. Here, love it. Did you say I have to go somewhere at 3.30? Oh shit, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I can make this pretty and obsess over the formatting later. Uh, I'll figure out how to tell it. Because, I mean, you've have you read John's? This is like my model for everything. <laughs> John is a serial entrepreneur and venture capitalist who has led or arranged numerous private equity and debt financings, dozens of rounds of venture capital, two IPOs, seven sales of second secondary stocks, 16 acquisitions, and the sale of multiple companies. One twice. <laughs> what is that? One twice, what does that mean? He sold one company twice. Oh. <laughs> um, and so it's just like, you know, manages a hundred million dollar fund. Actually, I need to update this because he, he issues a term sheet a day. He's deployed $50 million in like six months. Um, beast. Uh, but it's funny because like everybody who reads this, just like their eyes go wide and they're like, holy shit, this dude is boss. Um, but this took me like quite a bit of time to, to hone the story and like have that kind of an impact. Um, and so, yeah, so formatting is very much uh, a thing I obsess over because like if I can have someone's eyes go wide and be like holy shit this dude does everything which you do mm -hmm. but if I like this is not as compelling just in terms of a layout and format um, so yeah uh, it's funny because anyone who knows Project Jupiter that I've mentioned you to they're like holy shit and everybody else is like huh um, did I miss anything, burner, motorcycle, surfer? Uh, I mean, there's other things, but... Those are... I guess, yeah, what are we trying to accomplish? Um, personality. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're not married, you don't have kids. Mm -hmm. You're soon to be married. Soon to be. Soon to have kids? Eventually. Yeah. yeah it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I have this, which I'll probably rename, but... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Rub it up, dub three men in a tub. <laughs> I had, my favorite part was passing the whiskey back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> so classic. Mm. Epic. Um, sweet. All right, that's it. I'll make it pretty later. Okay. Mm.